For those of you that haven't clicked off yet, um, this is the clay dish that we're gonna be making. in Los Angeles today so I have a heater going hopefully I'm not gonna hate myself when I edit this video because the sound will get in the way but hi um, I just want to show you how I make beautiful and very aesthetic um, watercolor palettes so in this video we're gonna learn how to make this and I already made one because I wanted to make sure that the technique is there so if you're interested, continue watching. This channel is not gonna be about clay, but I will have some content about clay because it's one of the things that I love doing. So if you're intrigued, continue watching. Um, today I'm working from a comfort of my bedroom and I moved everything out of my way. So my bed is covered and all the things that used to be sitting here on my desk. And I cleaned my desk and I lined it with some parchment paper. I used this one from Costco. Um, it works great. I suggest you guys using that if you don't have a special prep, um, you don't have a special desk where you can knead the clay. So two conditions you need to do in order for you to actually be able to work with clay. The first thing, let me change the angle so you're not going to get bored. You know, there are certain things you got to do in YouTube to make sure the viewer is entertained. I'm so sassy today, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm so sassy. Anyway, so the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that the clay is kneaded. So I'll insert a clip of me kneading the clay. You need to do this uh, to be sure that there are no air bubbles. If there are air bubbles, what's going to happen, they're going to explode in your kiln. And that's going to be bad. This video is basically a combination of techniques you can do at home. And then you're gonna take your pieces and you're gonna take them to a local kiln shop. So let's make our beautiful clay dish. And that's all I wanna say. <laughs> this is what we're making. It's gorgeous, okay? Don't tell me it's not gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's very Pinterest. So to avoid any drama, I'm gonna try to copy and make this exact same dish, but might be slightly different, but I'm gonna try to copy myself, okay? Here are the things that you will need. Like, I could have totally made a very aesthetically pleasing video of this, and I might have a little video for you where I don't talk, but this is gonna be my style, so just suffer through this. Anyway, so, what I'm going to say is that... I forgot. Um, oh, the, the things that you will need. The first thing you will need is the right mindset because without the right mindset, nothing will work. And the mindset should be, you can do this, it's easy, it's not too complicated, if it's going to be complicated, you will overcome it, you'll finish the project, that's the mindset we're going with. I don't think a lot of people talk about that, but I think this is very important, the mindset. The second thing, we're going to talk about tools. So the tools. Let me move the camera. Okay, for this project you will need a table where you would work, right? And then you will need a parchment paper that I just showed you a few minutes ago. You will need a sponge, okay? You will need a sponge. Eh, you should have a sponge. I didn't use any sponge when I did this, to be honest with you, but you might want to have a sponge, so have it on hand. You will need a um, jar, whatever, a bucket of water. This was enough for me. I didn't need more than this. Just like regular water, whatever. It could be warm temperature. No one cares. It's fine. You will need the the rolling thing. The I don't know the name. I forgot. But 
Use the biggest one you have in your house. If you don't have that, don't panic. Use a wine bottle, okay? Or like an olive oil bottle if it's not square. If it's like tube-like, use that. It's totally fine. Then you will need this needle tool. Uh, if you do do pottery, pottery, you will have it already. If you don't have it, that's fine. You can use scissors. You can use a thick needle. Just make sure not to hurt yourself, whatever, but you need something, like maybe an owl you can use, but we're gonna need it to cut stuff with, okay? So whatever, something, you can use a knife, just be careful. Something to cut stuff with. Another thing you would need, obviously, is a piece of clay. Um, how much? It depends how big you want your dish to be. So this is fine, this is enough to make a dish. Um, you can you can get a little bit more, but but I feel like this should be plenty for your dish, okay? Like like a, a handful, I don't know how many pounds, like I think it's a half a pound here. My camera is fully covered in clay. Anyway, so this clay has been kneaded. I went in and I kneaded it and I'll start a clip again. You have to do it at least 60 times. Then you have this clay. So it's a it was also in a, it was also in a plastic bag, okay? You have to have it in the plastic bag, otherwise it dries, so. Here's your piece of clay, your surface is clean. What we're going to do, we're gonna get familiar with it and put all your loving energy in this piece and just kind of like say hi to, to the piece, okay? It's gonna be a little dry, you can use a little bit of water to kind of, you know, get to know your clay. Get it into um, some kind of shape like that because we're working with organic shape if you want to work with something like perfect you can make it perfect I don't like stuff that are perfect I like things to be organic looking then you're gonna get a roller and you're gonna roll it out how thick mm, half a centimeter sorry for you everyone that are there in inches half a centimeter thick I will list it down here on the screen whatever what is half centimeter is you're rolling it out Making sure it's all good and pretty. Okay, let's don't go crazy. Again, you're working with a very friendly parchment paper. It's very friendly, okay? It's user-friendly. You're working with something that is so forgiving because you can pick it up and lift it and it's beautiful, okay? So this is, this is the thickness that we want. We get this, it's pretty even, I'm happy. So the next part, I'm gonna change the angle so you will be happier with me, with my editing skills. The next thing you will need is this needle. The next thing you will do is just cut around the perimeter and leave maybe again of five millimeters um, from the edge. So like, like so. Like, and if you're gonna mess it up, who cares? You know why? Because it's a piece of clay, you can put it back together no one's gonna know, and you're not gonna cry yourself to sleep. I made a mistake, but that's okay. Like that. And that's the palette that I am working with. And that's okay. It's gonna be an odd one, a weird one. What you're gonna be left is this. Don't throw this away, you're gonna need this in a second. The second thing you will do, let me show you my face so you don't get uh, bored, I guess. I love wearing aprons because I feel like I'm like a real deal when I'm wearing an apron, you know? It's like I'm meaning business. My camera is covered in... I'll try to take a picture. I'll, I'll film it. It's terrible. Okay, so this is really important. You're gonna be left with this piece that we just cut from the main shape. Treasure it. Don't throw it away. Why? We're gonna use it to make borders for your plate for your watercolor palette, like that. This trim will become this border. And I'll show you how. So when, when pieces are of clay are that thin, they tend to dry easily. So you have to cover, you see, and they break easily. So you have to cover them and keep them moist a little bit. Mm, don't have to cover them, I didn't cover them, but keep them moist. So let's moisturize them. Uh, just wet it. Just keep them moisture, but not too much because you don't want them to become um, too wet that you can't work with them. Just just put a little bit of water on them, like a little bit, and leave them alone, okay? You're gonna get to them in a minute. Another thing that I forgot to tell you about is you need an old towel, okay? 
you need an old towel. So you use it whenever you need to use it. I just realized this is a beautiful spotlight right here. So we're gonna migrate to this area. And you know what? You can because this is a very forgiving surface you're working on. You're gonna take one of them and you're gonna uh, try to like press it together, compact it, make it like, if it, if it breaks, make sure it doesn't, like you can smooth it out and it, it later it's fine. Just make sure it doesn't break. So um, it's not focused, there you go. Just kind of <clears throat> put it together, smooth it together. If it breaks, make sure it doesn't. Kind of form it back in shape, in whatever shape you have, okay? The next thing you will do, you would need to score this part. Let me zoom in. In order to attach anything to anything in pottery, you need to score and wet, right? So, uh, we're going to be attaching this part here. And what's great about those leftovers, they will fit exactly on the perimeter of the whole shape. And you don't have to guess how much you need. You already have all of that, one more time, right here. You know? You know what, I mean? you know what I'm saying? So, this is what you do. You're going to uh, score. Just scoring is basically, you're just scratching it. Like you're scratching it as if it's... I wanted to make another joke, but I'm not going to make this joke. So we're going to continue with that. Scratch, 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 scratch. You know, it's okay if you do more. It's okay if you accidentally scratch here. We're going to smooth it out. No one cares. Like, there are no mistakes. Then you're going to try to find this pot that is... I don't know how I, it's so weird that I say the word spot, but you're gonna basically, since it was a part of the shape like that, what you're gonna do, rotate it. So it stands on its rib and it creates more of a wall rather than it being flat. Like then you're not gonna get as tall of a wall as if, if you were placing it this way. But even if you place it this way, no one's gonna care. It's still enough of the border for your for your watercolor dish, you know? It's still enough. You can always, even if you place it wrong way, you can always pinch it. Like, it's okay, you know? But this is just my little trick for you. So, we're gonna use, so it was laying like that, I'm gonna stand it on its border, and I'm going to score this part, okay? You need to score both parts. You know, like, maybe I'm not doing a great job at scoring, but it's okay. You could use, um, like a, a brush if you want to be fancy, but I'm, I don't have a brush on me right now. You wet it with your finger, you work with what you got. So, we scored, right? So now we're going to attach. Attach, and I'm probably gonna zoom out a little bit. Okay, now we're attaching. We're gonna position the little sausage we just worked with onto the shape. And now we're gonna wiggle it. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. What happens is you scored it. This is the base. You it scored, right? It was like that, beautiful, and then it began kind of became kind of like that. And you have another surface that's going and connecting to that surface. You know what I mean? And then when you put them together and you wiggle, wiggle, they kind of cement together. You know what I mean? Like, and they stay put. And I mean, I don't know if that's the technique I came up with or I saw it on YouTube or my teacher told me. I don't remember the origin of this technique, but it works for me. So then you're going to start smoothing it out. This is how it looks on the other end. See? It's just like that. Like, it's just like that. It's not a big deal. It's pretty put at this point, but we're going to make it better. So we're going to smooth it out. Going to smooth it out. You know, don't put too much water because you could end up um, making this part too uh, loose, too like soft, and then it's gonna be like all over the place, and you're gonna be upset, and it's gonna fall off. Like, don't, don't do that. Okay, we're gonna rotate this to make sure we work on this part, right? I'm gonna try to zoom in for you so you can see, but I don't want to be li like lifting it on its rib because I don't want to break it. So there, it talks so much. And then just with the magic of water, this border and this deal is sealed, okay? It's done. You can later perfect it, but this is, looks good. This looks nice on to me, right? It's co co cohesive, co consistent, I don't speak English. Um, and then you're gonna zoom out, I'm gonna zoom out, you're not gonna zoom out. Anyway, and that's what we have. That's step number one. 
So then, you're gonna go to that side of the table. You're gonna walk here. You're gonna grab another piece. Let's make it. Let's make it big. Get a shorter one because we're like timid. And do the same thing. It will stand on its rib. It's gonna be enough to cover up to here. So what? What do we do next? We score. I'll tell you how to work with this part, how to attach them in a second. So we're gonna score, 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 score. Like I'm not doing a great job at scoring it, but it's fine. So then you're gonna find this piece. What do you do with this piece? I would cut it a little bit and I would just like, again, scratch it, scratch. And then put water, so it's not perfect. Um, my camera is moving, I'm sorry. Put water on this part is enough. You don't have to put on two parts because it becomes too slippery. You can make a slip, you know, but I don't. It's fine. You could, but it's not like a, mu a handle for a mug. So I don't believe you need to do anything uh, with like slip. You can just use that and wiggle, 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 wiggle. wiggle. I'll be so pissed at myself when I edit because I'll be like, why was I using the word wiggle? Um. You see how it's dry here? So help it, you know, like moisturize it, put some moisture. And that's how you fix this part. Now it's looking all beautiful and great. Now we're gonna carefully lift it and we're gonna work on this part like we did last time with a little bit of water. So I just want to tell you a story. I always wanted to learn how to make a clay. That's not the story I wanted to tell you. The story I want to tell you is that I found the videos of me um, when I was like seven and obsessed with Britney Spears and it's an interesting um, look. That's all I want to say. What I was doing and how I was dancing because I was trying to be like Britney. <laughs> so I was crying and laughing, embarrassed and happy. And that's the end of the story. Anyway, we're gonna go back to that piece that was laying there resting. We're going to score. And I'm gonna change the angle because I'm tired sitting this way. And you end up with a situation like that where like it's not enough. That's okay. You can just make a little more. Wet it a little bit. Make it like a little, tiny little ball of clay and like add to it. Build it up. It's fine. Because it's very forgiving, and I think the plates will turn out super cute. I feel like this tutorial could be also for handmade plates. Okay, so we made another shape. That's basically step number one. Then, then the rest is easy. Same thing. So basically, this is the clay dish that I did uh, some time ago. It has like an imprint of an insect earring, and then basically, it's great. I've been using it a lot to paint stuff. Okay, the next thing that we will do is we're gonna work on adding the rest of this borders, and you can do as many compartments as you want. It was just me free styling it, and I'm gonna do the same thing here. Um, so let's just think about something. So again, get familiar, get that much, I don't know, a little bit of clay. Don't get a lot. Get familiar with it, put all your love and energy, just, you know, make sure it's, it's nice and warm in your hands. Add some water and like, just massage it basically. You can cut half. Cut a piece in half and just do this. Just kind of form whatever sausage. I like to form something to then, like a link to work with. There you go. Just something like that. This could stay out of your way for now. Move this out of your way. There you go. So, what you can do is just use your hands and roll it out. Add some water. Continue rolling it out. Too much water at this point. Use your too much water. Use your trusty towel. Get rid of a little bit of water. Continue. Continue rolling it. Use your fingers. It's fine. I think they say to be fancy you can do this if you're fancy, but 
whatever works just roll it out and try to be as thick as the border that you were working with the same kind of thing you know I think I, came, I just came up with a better way of doing this but we will talk about it in a minute this is fine this this method will work right now so use a little bit of water if you need to to make sure there's no breakage anyway this is enough for now then let's think about the design here's your dish okay so let's think about the design I think it's nice to have a, a, a pool of um, uh, almost said blood Jesus a pool of um, watercolor right here I think it's gonna be nice and then maybe like another part here and then another here and then it could be divided like that but I don't like symmetry. Symmetrical is going to look stupid. It's going to look like a pizza slice. So let's use our trusty needle uh, tool and let's mark stuff approximately. Where do you want stuff to be? And if you don't like it, you can always smooth it out. That's fine. So right here. Right here. I like that configuration. I think for it to be beautifully proportionally, maybe we can add another side right here like I feel it, it it needs to be here and maybe like a small one I don't want them to be too symmetrical so maybe I'll move this a little bit here but I'll put this one right here I like that configuration we're gonna move move it slightly towards us like this border is gonna be not here but it's gonna be a little closer okay so with this in mind I'm gonna fix what I just did with my finger I'm gonna erase the border okay now we have our configuration. Now it's easy to work. So we have this link ready, but I suggest you first kind of um, work with the longer parts of the border and then do the short ones. So this is pretty much the size that I need. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna make it um, all as um, even as possible. Like it has some breakage here, but we're gonna compact it back, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing, basically. We're gonna score. We're gonna score. And then also do not forget to score the, the borders, the, 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 the walls right here. Make sure you also score these guys. And also wet them, okay? So you do that. Now we have our little guy here. That doesn't matter which way you put um, this um, border. I think I hopefully I said right the border, the piece of clay, whatever. Um, like that, like that. Now we're gonna use a little bit of um, water, like we did last time. Don't forget about this part, and we're gonna cement it in. We're gonna wiggle it in, okay? We're gonna. If it's too long, just cut it. This seems to be a little too long, so. I was talking about Lisa. I love Lisa. She's so great. Anyway, wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it. Okay. Then we're gonna go in and we're gonna make sure they're smooth in here. Okay. And then we're gonna make sure everything is nice and maybe the same kind of style. Like pinch it. I like it to be pinched a little bit, but not too much. Like pinch it and then flatten it out. It's like you're typing and then you backspacing, you know, like you type it, you pinch it, and you backspace it. You pinch it, you backspace it. I don't know if that analogy made any sense, but here we go. See? The next one is, is this guy. Perfect. Coincidentally, perfect length. How did I know? I don't know. This is my third dish, and they look Pinterest, okay? They do look Pinterest. I think they do. We're gonna score, 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 score. We're gonna score this. Can you see? It's not off camera. To work with. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Use water, it needs some water. You see this gap? Like, I feel like this is no bueno. So just make sure you fix it. You can use whatever tools you want, but just make sure it's all evenly it's all evenly done press 
uh, do music over this so no one will see, no one will know what I was talking about. And then wiggle, 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 do kind of motions like that. There you have it. We just finished this one, so it's a little too delicate, and this one is pretty much firm. But I would cover it with with plastic wrap um, or just any plastic. Just cover it with a, put it in a put a plastic bag over it, okay, overnight, and wait till it becomes leather hard. Then you will take it to your local shop, and they're gonna fire it for you. Then you're gonna put glaze over it. But I'm happy. I will continue vlogging if my camera. Um, works after this um, session that we just did because it co it's covered in clay. This is the way my camera looks right now. So if you see a next vlog, it means it survived. Here are the palettes, guys. I love the way they turned out. They, they're pretty big. Um, and they're very comfortable to use. I'm really happy the way they turned out. I highly suggest you guys making them because they're super easy to make, as you guys saw. And um, they're very Pinterest looking. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!